Uh, if you guys do r rent from this place, do me a favor, don't jump off the balcony, please. Don't do that. All right, no suicides, please. What's going on guys, you lovely, beautiful people. So I'm here in Pattaya, Thailand right now. And the reason why I'm here in Pattaya is it's because I'm getting a ton of emails from you guys asking me, can you do a central Pattaya condo tour? Can you do a Jamtian Pattaya condo tour? You guys are asking me about condo tours here in Pattaya. It's one of my few favorite places I like to go if I need to take a break from Bangkok, but I'm here because you guys have asked for these kind of videos. And especially with a lot of people coming back here to Thailand, I'm gonna give what the people want. You're welcome. Buy me a beer or masha. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a couple places, a couple condos here in Central Patio for sale, for rent, whatever your heart desires. Central Patio, it's a good place for you guys to go out, chill by the beach, or if you guys wanna engage in nightly mongering activities, it's up to you. I don't judge. Do whatever you like. Beach life, monger life, it's up to you. So in this video, I've partnered up with My Patia Condo. They're pretty reputable. They've been a big player in showing people condos for rent, for sale. But I'm here with one of their agents, Kun Toon. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, I am Toon from My Patia Condo. I'm proud to show you the unit for rent and for sale today. So Kun Toon is going to be helping us. We're going to go check out some condos. We're going to have a good time. And uh, yeah, if, if you guys make sales over here, make sure you stop by, buy me a beer or else I'm gonna be pissed off at you guys. All right, let's go check out some condos. So as you can see, we're here at our first unit. I'm already sweating my ass off because it's the month of May, Thailand life. We're here in our first unit and uh, Kun Tun's gonna introduce us this nice, fantastic condo unit that's also for sale and for rent. Yes. Here is it. Here is one bedroom for rent. That is 36 square meter, fully furnished and facing outside. It's facing outside? Yes. Okay, so this place is 36 square meters. So you got the kitchen over here. You got a pretty decent size fridge. Let's see what's over here. More fridge. You got the microwave. A fairly modest countertop. Now you got the, uh, the main area, the living room. You got your nice sofa, Sex Panther. <laughs> so if you guys want to bring the ladies or a dude, you can impress them with this nice Sex Panther decor. So this is the bedroom? Yes. Okay. Wow. So you got your king size bedroom, another TV. Let's go check out the view inside here. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. If you guys are getting a condo here in Central Patio, you're not gonna get much of a view. It's kind of a downside of it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not exactly a beach view. It's more of a local view. So at least you can come up here and say hi to your neighbors. Whatever, that's fine. <laughs> and you go, you go through here. And this is the bathroom over here. Shower head. Fairly, fairly, fairly modest. But that's one of the drawbacks about living here in Central Patia is that, you know, this is where all the action is, all the nightlife. But for the, so you're gonna be conveniently located to like a lot of good restaurants, a lot of nightlife, bars, whatever you, your indulgence is. Uh, it's really close to Soy Bacal, so party, party, party. The only drawback is a lot of the units, they're not gonna be as big. The size isn't going to be as big as some other areas like in Jamtian or in Pratunak Hill, but that's the trade-off. All right, so Kuntun, how big is this place? And then what is, what's the price for, uh, for sale and for rent? Yes, uh, for rent, we start from one bedroom, 36 square meter. The price average from 15,000 baht per month. 15,000 per month? Yes, and the price for sale start from 2.8 million baht. Now, is there any, can you negotiate that? Is there any room for negotiation for maybe ask for a, maybe a cheaper discount or not discount, but like a cheaper rate? And um, it's case by case. Case by case? Yes. Depends on the owner? Yes. Okay. Well, good Thank to hear. You. So after we checked out one of the units, we're on our way to the second unit. One of the agents from My Patio Condo 
His name's Edwin. He was actually in one of my previous videos, but he's joined us and wants to talk a little bit about the amenities here in Grand Avenue Condo. Hey Forrest, good to have you here. So we are at the pool level. The swimming pool is almost 250 meters long, going around the project. It's a big um, footprint of the land as well, um, around 10 Rai, which is about 16,000 square meters, probably 17,300 in foot. We have two fitness centers here, a nice sauna and a steam room, and then a large car park under the building as well to protect it from the sun. So for Central Pattaya, it's quite a unique project because it has a, a really nice amenities and um, normally developers will build a high rise for this type of uh, land. But here we have all this resort style building, which is pretty awesome. And then we're gonna go and see the two bedroom unit. Awesome, <laughs> looking forward to checking this out. Let's go. Thank you. Don't worry, I got you guys. How is the back of my head? You're sexy, you're sexy Edwin. Kuntun's very swimok. You know, working with these two agents, they're fantastic people but they're not YouTube people, so they're just like, oh, you know, am I looking good? I'm like, listen, you guys are lovely, you guys are beautiful, you guys are sexy. Don't worry. I'm sexy, I know you're talking about me. <laughs> people don't realize how tough it is to be on camera. The moment it's on, it's like, you, you, you can't even talk. It's hey, not, hey like, which makes sense, but you guys were doing great. Don't, don't worry, nah, okay? <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go and see the, the third floor two bedroom. Yes. It's empty, it's like an empty canvas. But so very can... beautiful view. Beautiful pool view. I can't wait. <laughs> it's a corner unit. Up to you. Yeah. Here we are. Again, built in fridge and freezer. Wow. Yeah, not many developers do that. It's kind of nice. This is kind of sexy. I like it. And here we are. Two bed, two baths. One of the bathrooms. Entrance for the guests as well. To no, from side so, so obviously this is unfurnished, but this is how it is completely bare. And you said this is a two bedroom unit? Two bed, two baths, 70 square meters. Two bed, two baths, 70 square meters. Wow, and you come out here towards the balcony. Yeah, it's almost 12 o'clock and the sun already disappeared. So it's not gonna be too hot during the day. Yeah, this is great. So what floor is this? Third floor. So, you're, so this is only the third floor. Two bedroom, two bath. 70 square meters and a lovely resort style fuel. This is great. Wow, this is fantastic. Obviously in my previous cost of living video, you know, where I'm staying at, I'm staying at a 30, 31 square meter place. Pretty soon I'm gonna be moving to a space at least 70 square meters and I'm imagining amazing ideas of just, ah, I don't know. If you're on a budget, 27, 30 square meters, I get it, but man, over time, you're gonna need that bigger space. This is a great space. This is a, a great 70 square meter space. You can imagine putting TV, stand, everything, sofa, Kuntun. And me. <laughs> and you. Come, come with the condo. Wow. And this is a fantastic, one of the bedroom spaces, so much room, so much real estate. Let's say if you're sleeping right here, look to your right, wake up towards this resort feel. You have access towards the balcony. You got the glass panel right over here. You can put curtains if you like. Much bigger bathroom space. A sink, toilet, shower. Man, I'm loving this way more than the previous space. Space matters. Yeah, it's good to have that much space in Central Park Gosh. Now this bedroom over here, smaller than the previous one that we were just in a couple seconds ago, so this would be a good guest bedroom. Feels okay. Now this could be a guest bedroom, a second bedroom, or even a work office. This can definitely be converted to a work office. Do you think, what do you think? This could be a good work office. Sure, you can have a Murphy bed if you like, or an opening sofa. So if you have guests coming over, you just open the sofa into the full bed. Yeah. Otherwise, nice office space for sure. Yeah, you can add a sofa, you can add a desk, do all your work here. A little fun factor with the open uh, window to the shower, and then the guests can enter the bathroom as well from that side while you keep your bedroom closed. Yeah, there you, you go. Just, uh, yeah. 
We can see our guests from, from the shower window. <laughs> <laughs> Peeping <laughs> Tom's. <laughs> so this is your guest shower, guest bathroom. You got toilet, sink. Not bad, not bad. And you have, obviously, open through the other door, you have access towards the entrance. The real value for these units is the price, really. You have to compare it to the price. You know, you're looking at some of the new projects, like the edge next door or the base. Um, what you can get for the price here is, is, is something. You know, you have the amenities, you have the size, you have the location. So if you can get units like this for five, six million baht, it's a good price, for sure. So Kuntun, uh, to double check, what is the sale? So it's 70 square meters, two bedroom, two bath. Uh, how like how sale and uh, rent? Um, around 5.958 million baht. So close to 6 million baht to, yes, buy, to yes. buy this. Yes. What, ab what about a uh, rent, monthly rent? The rent yes. for around 30,000 per month. 30,000 per month? Yes. Okay, so. It's uh, 70 square meter. 70 square meters. This is a big room. Very big room. Yes. I'm, I'm going to put the conversions on the screen right here for sale and for rent. So that's the starting. If you want to negotiate, cool. If not, it's up to you. It's okay. We made a mistake. We said, we said 5. Point, Kuntun sends 5.95. The actual price is uh, 6.6 .6 million Thai baht. If you want to buy this two bedroom, two bath, 70 square meters. It's okay. We're humans. We make mistakes. <laughs> My penalty cop. Sorry. It's okay, nah, it's okay. But yeah, see over here, 70 square meters, two bedroom, pool view, floor three. Cool. So we're, we're humans. We make mistakes. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We shouldn't be okay. making mistakes. You can't do it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to be on our way to the second condo location. But to conclude our time here in Grand Avenue condo, it's a really, I have nothing bad to say about this place. Wonderful location. If you love the resort style, which I really do dig, you know, if you like great location, whether if you want to go to the restaurants over here, soy bacal, uh, go to the beach around here, you know, if you want to go out and do mongering activities, it's a great place. I love it over here. So I definitely can imagine myself staying in this place, retiring out here, and just live the chill life, especially in this Grand Avenue condo. Let's go check out the second location, shall we? All right, so we're here in our final condominium unit here at the edge in Central Patia, which is uh, developed by the San Siri Group. Now, if you guys don't know too much about the San Siri Group, they're big players when it comes to the real estate condo market. Uh, they have a huge presence here in Bangkok as well too. So they're definitely big fish up here, big fish development. But here at the edge in Central Patia, it's been fairly built, I'd say probably about what? Less than about a, two, year. about a year, two years. Yeah, just about a year. Okay. People are just moving in. It's, uh, it's becoming a little bit more crowded. Is it becoming crowded now? Yeah. Well, not so much yet. It's pretty much just un unwrapping, as you can see. Everything is fresh and everything is still shiny. Well, it's probably because um, the flashy aesthetics. You've got a ton of mainland Chinese are moving in they here. Definitely spent some good money here to make it all shiny. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. We're going to see 30 square meter units, which is pretty standard here. Uh, some available for rent, some for sale. You can put the prices later on the, on the video there. But um, this one that we're going to see is at 15,000 15, baht for rent. 15,000? Yes. Okay, let's go check it out. Sure thing. So you have the lobby right here. Receptionist staff. And you're coming through here. You got the mailbox. And you have the elevators coming up here. Okay. Here from the window we can see the base, that was the previous project from Sansiri Group, very popular. Obviously because of location here you can see the Hilton and Central, Central uh, Festival shopping mall and the beach is right next door. So this building became very popular. Also 29 square meter, one bedroom units, very Bangkok style. We're not used to that kind of size in Pattaya, but it's getting more and more trendy. The land is pretty expensive here, so they don't have a choice to build like that. So you can see the two buildings here from the base. And this is the new baby from them. 30 square meter studio, one bedroom style apartments. The prices vary about six, seven million baht for a high floor like this. So it's definitely not cheap, but um, after the research they did, the developer decided this is the, uh, the right price for the Patia, which is good. It increases the price for the other projects in the neighborhood and uh, for the new projects as well. So that's the new 
new era. So you would say that Sound Siri Group has the edge, the base, they're slowly taking over Patio. Yes, there's another project in uh, North Patio as well. They've taken over and uh, a lot of Thai investors, they just trust the brand name and they trust the prices and the, 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 the choices of the location. So you see the buildings like this being sold out before they actually start construction often. Gotcha. Um, so it's something to look up to, for sure. Awesome. So one thing I do want to mention before we go into our second unit is that, you know, after doing a lot of condo shopping all over Bangkok, Chiang Mai, wherever, you know, especially in Bangkok, there's always a trade-off to every situation when you're going condo shopping, whether to buy or for rent. There's no perfect situation. Unless if you're filthy rich, then sure. So here's the trade-off. You can either get a bigger space condo but you're sacrificing the, I guess, the newness. It's gonna be a much older condo project, much older condo unit. Even though it's older, then you're gonna be sacrificing the newness of it to get a bigger space and be paying, you know, roughly around the same price compared to going for a newer condo unit. Like let's say for here in Padilla, you have the edge in central Padilla or the base, these newer, flashier condo units, but, you're gonna be sacrificing for the space. It's gonna be usually maybe around 27 square meters or 30 square meters. Take both these situations for what you will, but personally, if you want my personal opinion, I would rather sacrifice living in an older unit for a much bigger space. Because personally, I think space is everything. But it's up to you. Let's go check out this, uh, this unit here at the edge. All right, here we go. And you said this is a 30 square meter unit? Yes. Here at the, here at the edge. You can see the ceilings are a bit higher, that helps. So you're coming in, to the right you have, you do your business, take your morning dumps. And when you come to the left, once you finish taking your morning dumps, you can walk across your uh, wash sink, wash your filthy hands off, take a shower afterwards. It's a decent sized shower. Yeah, it's, it's not bad for 30 square meters. And you go, to, you go in immediately, here's your bed, TV, pillows, you got your, your closet, some curtains, and put on your makeup, do your hair. And then once you walk through, past this partition. There's no balcony. Kitchen, but rest this, area. This window opens up in the balcony style, so you have this. Yeah, wow. Feeling of a balcony. Yeah, you do have the feeling of a balcony. You're gonna overlook all of Central Patio. Uh, if you guys do r rent from this place, do me a favor, don't jump off the balcony, please. Don't do that. All right, no suicides, please. Don't get too drunk and just do dumb, crazy shit. Well, on this location, it's hard to avoid doing some dumb stuff. All the streets around you are pretty crazy and, uh, and good fun. Yeah, I mean. Could, uh, like we were talking earlier, you could literally crawl back home from a bar. You don't have to drive too far, which is good for safety reasons. If you drive a motorbike or a car, it's good to be nearby. It's a good location. It don't is. Don't say much about it. It's definitely a prime, prime location. So like you said, you have to sacrifice the size for the location. But yeah, the, the higher ceilings helps a bit. Um, if you use it partially for your weekend home, or I wouldn't stay here for a yearly rent if it's two people or more, it's a bit crowded. But uh, for a holiday escape or, uh, or a rental investment, it's, it could be something for the future. Yeah, absolutely. It's not cheap, that's for sure, if you're buying one. Uh, it's not cheap, but you have to look five, ten years from now and see, you know, where other new buildings coming up and the, when, what the price is going to be. see it as, well, potentially seeing it as an investment property. Yes. If we compare it with, with the Grand Avenue that we saw earlier, obviously the price per square meter is, is less than half. Yeah. So you're going to get more return on investment uh, on the rentals. Um, so it's a different style. But you know, people from Bangkok, they're used to this style. I think they can appreciate this building. And that's why it was sold out before they actually pretty much started the construction. Yeah. Yeah, one thing I do notice is that I think ties when it comes to the Sansiri development brand, they're much more used to this style of unit this the style of uh weights design versus if you were to come from like a, maybe a western background i think for us space is everything space but anyways trade-offs here and there no perfect scenarios it really depends what you personally like 
It's up to you. I can't tell you. Edwin can't tell you. Kuntum can't tell you. Yes. <laughs> Our job is to compare yeah. and to give you the facts okay. and to give you the experience because at the end of the day you have to if you're buying, I think it's important to see how you feel. Like you say, you wake up in the morning, what you do, where you go, what you experience. Do you need a transport or do you need bars or shops next to you or do you need a park? So it's very different locations here in Patia. You know, this is definitely more for a weekend getaway or a central lifestyle. If you want a park, a more green area, you go to Pratum Lake Hill or Jongti and you can find more affordable properties there and uh, kind of green lifestyle where you can walk in the morning exercise. But uh, there's plenty of good gyms here you can join. Uh, shopping is easy. Um, yeah, you're right by Central Festival, yeah, big mall. literally there. You could almost throw a stone if you're a good thrower. Yeah. <laughs> to caveat what Edwin just said, you have the Hilton Hotel over here and right over here, Central Festival Shopping Mall to get all your shopping, movie theater. I think they got a bowling alley in there as well too. And then go part of your, your life away. Either there, there, everywhere here in Central Patio. One thing I wanna add, uh, this is more of a personal thing. So here at page 10, right there, that was the first time, the hotel that I stayed at last year, went with uh, David Bond and a few friends and just went all out during my first weekend here in Patio. Good times, good memories, decent hotel, wild night, wild. But right next to page 10, you have the Dental Design Center Fantastic reviews. If you guys are here in anywhere in Patio, Central, Proptumnok, Jamtian even, if you need to get good dental work, Dental Design Center over there. All right, so we're gonna take you guys outside towards the common area. And my God, I am already impressed by the outdoor area. Obviously, if you're staying at a, uh, if you're staying at a 30 square meter unit, it gets a little too claustrophobic, come outside, sunbathe come outside here suntan and this is the kind of view overlooking all well crap almost fell down jeez so this is the kind of view that you're going to be getting all over central patio move over to the right fantastic beach over here it is uh it is indeed the good life so once you that's kind of how i'm feeling right now if i stay in bangkok for too long and you just need some fresh air, take a trip down a patio. So I just showed you that uh, that area, that common area, that out outdoor common area where you're sun tanning. This part, definitely loving this part already. Check it out, guys. You got a couple of the lying areas that you can lay down and sun tan and swim in the pool overlooking this Fantastic, beautiful patio scenery. That's definitely one of the struggles when it comes to choosing a condo is that you have these fantastic facilities and amenities in more of a flashier place like the Edge or in Life of Soak Rama 9 in Bangkok. But, you're, but then again, you're sacrificing for space. So it all depends what you want. All right, so just now I showed you the pool upstairs. Come down here, there's another common pool over here. Fantastic view. You are first, there's the Grand Avenue. We just came from there. For Grand Avenue. Wow, so nice. Wow. Oh, check this guy. Check this out, guys, you got the gym. God, this is so sick. You got this cool boxing machine over here. This looks like an elliptical. You got treadmills. Uh, I'm a big fitness guy, and when I see a condo with like a lot of gym amenities, I get excited. Kuntun, let me see you lift. Come on, you can do it. This weighs as much as you do. Oh, get <laughs> <laughs> You get your free weights, your seats. Dumbbells, you got your rowing machines, chest, leg workouts, and indoor bikes, elliptical. Oh my god. And it smells good here. Kuntun, you are getting jacked. Oh. <laughs> 
if fitness is a big priority for you guys, which, in my honest opinion, it should be everybody's priority. Dead fucking serious. This is a, a very good value. Once we're done with the fitness room, and this is a cool chill spot. Table tennis right here. A couple lounge areas. And we see this swanky. It's more private lounge spots. Do your conduct your business meetings, work from home. Oh wow. This is more, so you're coming over here, you got more lounge areas. Kind of like a bar area through this, kind of like a bar area over here. Wow, this is sick. Pool table, cool. So I think there you go, guys. I think with projects like these that appeal to more Thai, more Asian customers and consumers. It's all about the amenities, the facilities. Oh wow, here check, I almost forgot to show you guys this. They got a really nice looking sauna over here. Here check this out. Got lockers here, shower, and then you got the steam room right here. Very nice. And then you got the sauna. It's not really turned on yet, but there you go, guys. You also have a pretty dope looking sauna, or yeah, sauna. Forrest, I hope you realize that you entered the ladies. Oh crap! <laughs> was that the ladies? <laughs> oh, my oh my god. Yeah, Edwin was right. I did just enter the, uh, the ladies' uh, restroom, sauna, steam room. <laughs> Good thing I have you guys over here, otherwise I'd be in jail over sexual harassment charges. Not in Thailand, that's why we like it here. <laughs> <laughs> Lady's like, ooh, a handsome man. So that's pretty much it, folks. We have checked out four condos here in Central Patio, three in Grand Avenue condo, and the last one here at the edge in Central Patio. So as, you know, tourism, people coming back to this country, it's not 100%, but I can imagine maybe in the next year or two, People are going to slowly trickle down and because of high demand the prices are going to be jacked up whether it's going to be for sale or for rent so some things that you guys need to consider but more importantly i want to thank the people here in my patio condo particularly edwin and kuntun thank you guys really appreciate thank it you, thanks always welcome and it's a good time to visit patio it's not overcrowded and it's a good weather come over see you <laughs> These guys are lovely people. If you guys are looking for agents, uh, I don't just shout anyone out, but I really do appreciate Edwin and Toon here at my patio condo. Uh, I'm gonna leave their contact information in the links in the description down below. So check them out if you're looking for a properties here in Central Patio or Patio in general. But more importantly, I just wanna thank each and every one of you guys for watching this video. I love each and every one of you guys, even the haters. Stay safe, take care, love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, bye.